Please welcome Joe Kiani. Wow, what an amazing day. Um, and what an honor it is that I'm getting to present these two incredible awards on behalf of Patient Safety Movement Foundation to two people I admire so much and I've learned so much from. Uh, I, um, I'm gonna first, I think, present uh, the award, I guess you can choose which flowers you want, Kim, <laughs> to Dr. Kim Kreip, or who heads up Children's Hospital of Orange County, has for two decades, long before I met her, created this incredible culture, focused on patient safety. Every baby mattered. Every harm was looked after. Learning opportunities were created. And uh, they've accomplished so much. And really, Chuck, truly worldwide, has become exemplary what's possible with the right culture and uh, with perseverance. So, Kim, would you please come up? I'd like to present this award to you. Say a few words just a I very few words. Just heavy, um, heavy thing to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting this. Um, I can't begin to tell you how honored I am to receive this kind of recognition and honestly to share a, a stage, if you will, with you, Joe, and your vision and all of these amazing. How, how humbling to be up here. Thank you very, very much for the recognition. And it's kind of surreal. It's a to get recognized for something I care so much about and am so passionate about. So thank you, and on behalf of everybody at Chalk, my ideas would just be an idea that went away if it weren't for the organization that we're uh, within. So um, congratulations to our board, our leadership, our physicians, nurses, frontline caregivers, and I'm just so excited and honored to be in a room with all of you. So I look forward to continuing our journey, and thank you very much. Thank you, Kim. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. May I give this to you? It's heavy. Be careful. <laughs> you are so humble. Your humility is amazing. Thank you for what you've done locally and worldwide. Thank you. It's my honor. Thank you. Thank you for letting me do this. Thank you. <sighs> okay. I've been doing this for 12 years. You can maybe argue a little longer what I was doing at Massimo, but this person has been doing it for decades. He has the same energy I think I had 12 years ago. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Um, I am uh, extremely, extremely honored that we get to serve on the board together. He agreed to be the chairman of our board. And, um, and I, I don't like the title of this because I think it's just the beginning, but we are for, for the first time presenting the Lifetime Achievement Award to Dr. Mike Durkin. Dr. Durkin, please. I mean, what Dr. Durkin has done at his hospital, at NHS when he ran it, the first place to implement um, full transparency, then the Ministerial Summit on Patient Safety, World Patient Safety Day, I think it's because of you. So much behind the scenes, so little ego, so much done. Thank you so much, Dr. Durkin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so, uh, right, Kim, I didn't realize this was happening um, uh, at all today, so uh, until someone split it earlier. Um, so uh, I think as with Kim, uh, uh, you get opportunities uh, and you try to make a difference. Uh, as we heard from, from uh, earlier, uh, from Don, uh, as junior doctors, we, uh, we live with mistakes um, and we see mistakes all around us and we, we try to learn try to learn how to improve. Um, and then it's during that journey uh, as, as, as 
undergraduates, as graduates, as postgraduates, that, that um, you realize that the system around you is the issue. Um, and what I've tried to do, particularly as I was talking to Evan last night, was um, learn from the systems that work. And I was fortunate enough to, to come and spend some time uh, in the US uh, back in the 80s at um, uh, the other university uh, system up in the north in Connecticut um, that uh, is a few miles south of Harvard called <laughs> Yale. Uh, and, we, um, and, and we looked at various ways of monitoring and looking at adverse event monitoring back then. Um, and that set me on a roll and a journey to try and introduce change uh, outside of that particular system. Uh, what Don also, Don Berwick also gave me was the uh, uh, confidence to have a voice uh, for challenging uh, the way we deliver systems in England. Um, it hasn't always got me a lot of friends, but uh, you have to um, change things sometimes um, and they're difficult. But also the fact that we have now can create opportunities for learning and collaborative learning uh, in countries that are less fortunate uh, than those in the developed world. And so uh, my journey is now taking me to, with the help of WHO and colleagues and the Ministerial Summit series, to many systems around the world that um, you would say need our help. They don't need our help. Uh, we, need, we, we are just helping them um, to teach us how to be better in our own countries. Uh, we talk about fragile conflict and vulnerable areas. And we've just heard from Peter talk about Ukraine. We all have in our developed systems, fragile conflict and vulnerable systems within our developed hospital systems. Every single one of our hospitals in this country, in all countries, uh, have their own fragile systems. And what we have responsibility to do is help and support the staff and the patients that are within those systems. So our journey continues, a lifelong achievement. I don't, I don't know what that means. It, I, just the beginning. Uh, just the beginning. <laughs> we have so much more to do. So. Thank you very much, Joe, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.